So this is, I guess, is it kind of a big deal when you get to go against the defense in OTAs? I mean, because, you know, you're out there on air before now, right? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, super exciting. Um, because you know what, them, them first couple of weeks, phase one and phase two, it's just Indy and you're going against each other and walk through every day. So, um, you know, defensive players, they want to go against us. Defense does most of the trash talking. So, you know, once we go out there and lace them up, it's just exciting just to make plays against them. What's been your first impression of Anthony Richardson and how he's handling this so far? Um, he's um, definitely very mature. Um, excited to watch him work. Um, like sometimes it doesn't even look like he's throwing a ball. He's just like flicking it, and it's just it gets there. So you can just tell all the tools are there, and um, you can see his um, confidence is growing every day. The more and more reps he gets, and then now they started working him in with the ones and stuff like that. So you could definitely from Monday to today you can see the improvement. So you could definitely sky's the limit for him. I'm kind of wondering because you've been through a lot of quarterbacks here. Do you, can you get a feeling that this guy sort of gets it as opposed to maybe some other people? This is a he's 21. Yeah, man, it's crazy. I didn't even know he was. <laughs> so the other day when they posted his birthday, I was like, dang, you're only, you came in the league at 20 years old. Like, 20 years old, I was still in college. I had three more years of college left. Now he's here with grown men. So, um, but definitely you can tell he gets it. He comes about his business. He comes in every day ready to work. And it's just exciting watching him out there working. And you see some of those quarter, like when he takes off and runs, you can see that, that juice there. It's, it's an element we haven't had. I don't think we've had it since I've been here. So, so you're Initially, you're impressed. Definitely, definitely impressed. I mean, that, it does. It has to add a dimension when the defense has to consider that this sure. is running ability, right? And and then it, therefore, what does that do on the other end of those throws? You know, for you guys out there. Um, you know, coming from you see how how they ran it in Philly and stuff like that. Um, they have to respect everything. Then with JT, respect him, respect Anthony's running ability, and then that, that will defense will settle their feet a lot more and stuff like that, and it, it'll get us open a lot more too. Can't kind of be. I mean, he extends play, so you you can't. Quit on a route or whatever. Oh, yeah, for sure. Scramble drills are definitely in full effect this year. If the initial thing isn't there, the play breaks down. You know, with his running ability, you just never know when you're going to get the ball, so always stay alive. With a guy that young, how does he win over a veteran locker room? Um, just coming in and working. You know, as veterans, you see younger guys. You just want to see how their work, work ethic is and how they go about their business and stuff like that. So we us talk about um, the, the way you work is how you win over the veterans in the locker room. And so far, he's been working very hard. This is like working with Gardner Minshew as well. The other quarterbacks you got involved. Oh, I mean, he's been a joy working with Gardner. Um, he's a funny dude, but he's also smart on the field. And you could tell he's been in this offense because, like, he sees what look the defense is in. He checks for a certain play at different things like that. He's gotten us in a lot of good plays. So you could definitely, it'll be great working with him also. Very crowded tight end room. What's that competition going to be like? Uh, super competitive. Um, but we always preach competition here, so you got to look forward to it. Don't get down um, and just build each other up along the way. You don't want to like not help somebody out just because you're competing with them. You just always want to bring each other up because you know in this league it's always a next man up opportunity. So just go out there and work. Do you anticipate your role or just the role of tight ends? Or how do you anticipate it might be different in this offense? Do you have a sense yet? Um, don't really have a sense yet. Um, but just watching film and stuff, it looks like the tight ends get the ball a lot in this offense. But also, I think just blocking a lot more on the perimeter and stuff like that. We haven't done that as much in the past, but like just from the early stages and stuff like that, I think we're blocking a, a lot more on the perimeter and second-level defenders.